Hey guys, this is Miss Morrow at College Street Elementary, and today we're going to show you how you can play a game at home to practice your multiplication facts. So my friend Debbie is here with me. Say hi, Debbie. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to show you how you can play an area game using dice. So I have two dice, and she has two dice. And we're going to play this game together. So I roll my dice. And I have eight and eight. So I'm going to show eight groups of eight on my graph paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice that I counted my dot in the corner for both dimensions. I did it for the length and the width. And I know this is going to make a square because both sides were eight. So eight times eight is 64. If you don't know the fact, you're welcome to put dots in every square and count every square if you need to. All right, Miss Sanchez, it's your turn. Okay. Seven times five. Oh, lucky duck, you get to count by five. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna use my one here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I know five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. I'm writing backwards. Just it's okay. We all make mistakes. There we go. Thirty-five. Okay. All right, uh, it's my turn. I'm gonna roll my dice. Oh, wah, wah, wah. I have oh, zero, zero groups of three. If I roll a zero, I don't get to go. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I got a zero too. So, my turn. Now I have two groups of four. That one's pretty easy. Two groups of four would be right here, and I know that four plus four is eight. Your turn. One times two. So one group of two. Hmm. That's going to be hard to figure out. Maybe that's two. <laughs> and my turn. I'm going to roll up. And notice on my dice, that's a six because the line's on the bottom. So I have six times two. So I'm going to fill in this space right here where you left those two. One, two. And I'm going to go down six times. One, two, three, four, five, six squares. And if this was eight, this is just four more, so that's going to be twelve. Ooh, nine times eight. Oh, can I show you a trick for your nines? Oh, I'd love to know that. Okay, so I already did eight times eight right here, mm -hmm. and you're doing nine times eight, so you're going to build off of mine here. I'll here. use your color. So you're going to do another eight, as long as mine, but you're going to go down nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Your nine facts are sometimes kind of tricky. So instead of doing nine times eight, pretend that you had ten times eight. Oh, ten because times Because you know you're ten. That's eighty. So really you're just doing eighty, take away that eight that you really weren't using. So, so seventy-two. So that would be seventy-two. And if you want, you can write your fact while and your answer when you're doing it. Great. So that's the easy way to do your nines is do your tens and then take them away. That's much easier. It is. So you guys can play this game at home. If you don't have dice, you could play the same game using a deck of cards. What I did with my cards was I took out the jacks and the queens and the kings and the jokers and I left in the ace because ace is going to be one. Now, if you want to play with the jokers, you can make your joker, jokers worth zero. That way, if somebody flips over a joker, they lose their turn. Like, we lost our turn when we were rolling the dice. But I would do two cards, so I would do two times two. And Debbie would do two cards, so she would do three times six. So if you don't have dice at home, you can play the same game using a deck of cards. And the winner is the person who fills the most squares up on the graph paper. If you Google free graph paper, you can print out graph paper for free as a PDF. And the size of the graph paper you use doesn't really matter. Anyway, we hope you enjoy this game while you're at home. And we hope to see all you guys soon. Bye.